Hey, Judy, what's up? Hey. Can you come over, Stan? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? To interrupt. Look oh. around, sir. Oh, Things are heating timing. up in the city. Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Right? Then what? I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, get more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I would not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Fucking worked. And? Done. System's ours. The shot works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that, It. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. 
I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. He will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. Is your elaborate seppuku ritual? What? Why? As far as I can see, you're trying to get us killed really like to know why. The risks are substantial, yes. But we have no choice. Hanako-sama is our only chance. You have nothing to lose, as I do. I see it in your eyes. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. Let him... I'm a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! Yorinobu, in the flesh. President Myers has called he eliminated the, the last obstacle the between himself and the complete power. The they surrendered it to him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events. Conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. 
We must reach her first. Will you join me? Get there on my own, thanks. Very well. I will soon leave as well. See you there. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today.
I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much? Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attentions. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. This is not bad. Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. Got eyes on the comm system. It's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanical. Chill, just a cat. Perhaps, perhaps not. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Miss Holm? A foolish question. I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah. <sighs> Bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood? Let's see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills? Oh, and, uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth cornfield. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but 
Only the clean ones. What did they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. And all you had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Slaving away for a corp. Not exactly everybody's dream. Oh, yes. Because thieving is so much more honorable. At least I'm not fleecing this planet and its people in the name of profit margins. Corporations need capital and resources to keep all in order. Who else is to rule? Corrupt governments? The masses? Attached to feeders? Cynics? Nihilists? Like you? Come on, not everybody wants to change the world. Suddenly, this is true. Tired of bickering. Let's just drop it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world. Forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompik, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Don't be smart. Got no idea what I feel. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, fuck, fuck, get, get worse. worse. You do not look so bad. Diversion reaction. That is fine. I'm in. Good. Now try to enter the warehouse. I will draw their attention away.
who walks the third guard ship at a warehouse all tight now. Right. Things that you're in. Good. I will reach the control room and make a terrible mess. Very well. I am ready. When you finish, I'll make the system sink. Come on. How's the way I can see that? Starts to do with as we please. Fly to Tokyo if you want. Haha, <laughs> I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is slowly. Me, the roof. That is your will. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. <laughs> D, you must hurry. And Arasaka Avery approaches. Worked. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. <sighs> I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. Get a gig for me. You heard right. I need a driver. 
So call a cab then. I don't like cabs. They have a bad habit of bolting when things get dicey. Listen, I'm a straight shooter, so let me cut right to the chase. I heard you're the best in town. Thing is, I like working with the best. I know the best don't come cheap. I'm not gonna get into the nuts and bolts, cause if what they say about you is true, you can handle anything. So let's get this settled. You got what it takes, or are they wrong about you? All right, I'm in. Japan town, then, by the market entrance. Get a few honks and I'll stroll up. Later, me. my question uh there's a uh, something on your face the grenade can I ask why you have a juggling accident or something not cool you ask personal questions and yet you haven't even introduced yourself you are V correct yeah that's me good then let's go word Sue little China I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Extra spicy. Doesn't it bother you? What? The grenade. You know, the one on your face. Uh, you get used to it. I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I wanna pick my nose. Brazil is. You never know with you gringos. Tiger claws. Heard of them? <laughs> Who hasn't? Got any friends in there? No, why? 
just asking. Can't help being curious. This is the place. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. Came all this way to get takeout. You could say that. What the fuck was that? You got grenades up your ass too? This ain't a good time to dig around, V. They're not even human. Vampire, come on. Uh -huh. Want a taste of this asshole? Uh -huh. You see what I did to him? Uh -huh. They're not even human. Vampire, come on! Ah! Their bodies, they never aim! But notice their eyes! Ha! Not bad, right? It would have been even better if you told me what you were planning from the get-go. That's true what they say. You're good. Really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. This is where we part ways. Good luck, V. And, uh, relax a bit, okay? He feasts on the blood Are you gonna tell me about the grenade? Oh, that. My brother ripped it off during a fight. With pliers. Ooh, one happy family. You don't know the half of it. I could have chipped another one, but... I don't know. I think this matches my style more. Uh-huh. Besides, it's a real icebreaker with the ladies. Got me powder for my nose. <laughs> and, does it work? Not their really. What about my payment? What about it? Live, Here, like I said before, dead. the best don't come cheap. I tell you Take now, care, V. And hey, keep world. your he nose to the ground. The family crypt. He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body's rejuvenation. To return once more, mark my word! <laughs> Order has been restored. All units instructed to return to patrol. Huh? In the bathroom. 
Bird offs herself oh, to express her undying gratitude to you for Stop saving. talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of death don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. Fuck! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. They'll be here soon. <laughs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Welcome to Night City. Where your address says more about you than anything else. We should have never come here. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. I'm a cig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. You know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So... Psychological trauma. Had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her. Had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. I saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. 
Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. said you were looking for work. You say, Sar, I'm here for my fight. Yeah, that's me. 
toughest hijo de puta in the Glen. Mm-hmm. And the worst father in Night City. Michaela, baby! I know what I'm doing! You gotta I'm not trust- talking to you! First you spent a fortune on Chrome, and now I, ugh, I give up. Beat some sense into him for me, okay? He needs a good lesson. Michaela! Michaela, wait for fuck's sake! Listen, I need a lot of scratch and fast. That's why I'm only taking serious wagers. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. Okay, I'll match it. We good? All good. Let's go. So bare hands only, right? No pulling any mono wires or mantis blades out of your ass? Right. I asked because the last guy I fought tried to surprise me with long spurs. Anyway, you ready to start? Yep. Ready to rumble. Careful now. I don't fuck around. for me. I'll take my eddies, but you can keep the ride. You... I mean, really? It's not my type of joke. Listen, I... I, I don't know how to thank you. Then don't. Oof, we dodged one there, huh? Uh-huh. Bendejos have all the luck. Any ideas for a name? Crushed half the 